I think what was really appealing was really just it, it, it was timely. You know, we've, we've seen this in the news and I, like, I quite like to work on films that I would go and see more than anything. And, and it is a film I would see and I quite like the script. And Samantha, our producer, got in touch with me and Jake Gyllenhaal, who, who I really enjoy working with and we've done quite a lot together. Uh, he's very persuasive. I wasn't sure the timing would work. And, and it did, so we made it work and and, um, and we were prepping and I was calling people and figuring it out and, and here we are. When I was looking at hair for Jake, because at first it was, you know, does he have shorter hair, longer hair? That's very tricky, you know, once you, you commit to that. Um, and then having the beard, Guy did want him having a beard. That was a distinct Guy choice that I was given sort of over a phone call by three other people. So I thought that initially I didn't see, I truly didn't see Jake with a beard because he's had a beard in a lot of films. And so I'm always apprehensive with a leading man with a beard. I think it can often be, it's not always my favorite thing, but in this case, special forces do have beards. That's a fact. The more natural he looks, I mean, occasionally, we've chosen to sort of clean him up a little bit or, you know, he's suddenly like combed his hair or, you know, he's done something. But I think the less attention to it for me is better because I'm very aware of characters that it's very hard for me sometimes to explain to people that it's taken me a lifetime working in this business that to make people look like they did nothing is really difficult. And, and, you could spend your career trying to figure that out of what not to do. Um, you know, it's like last looks and final touches and things like that. You can really ruin a character by sort of putting them in the makeup trailer, um, by doing hair or makeup or both, or, or you just do one little thing and leave it. So I've kind of tried to do very minimal on, on Jake or Dar, um, keep people very, you know, we add a bit of shine, a bit of, you know, just to make them look like they're in the moment, you know, not correct imperfections and things like that. Dar's wife, very simple. I mean, she's on the run, she has a baby. I mean, this is a character who's all she thinks about is her husband and her baby. There's nothing about her that's got any vanity. And it's really important for me because I don't believe a character, the minute I see something, that the hair has been done or the face or the like, even lip balm would have made me not believe her. I mean, look at the news, people running out of what's going on today right now and right now in the world. People don't have anything. They have their dog, they have a baby, they have a child, you know, a stroller and a cat and a bag of whatever. That's it.